Sir, please start. Good evening, one and all. Welcome to the 59th chapter meet of Ben Masters Club. It is beautiful to see you all with your smiles. I'm glad to have an Anisha's writing. So it's all transpired that we wanted to start with you, and that's probably why it's all the glitches happen. Uh, right before we begin, a few rules to start off. We are all online, so there will be times you will be required to switch on your cameras and smile throughout the session. Please keep yourself muted. Unmute yourself only when you are speaking. Do not confirm time and again whether you're audible or visible. Yes, you are. If you're not, they're there to help. Uh, there will be times if in case you get disconnected, do not panic. We will all wait. You'll be connected in a while. A few things we would refrain from. Some taboo topics, sex, politics, and religion in a derogated manner. And with those rules, we've all been very, very ignored and we'll be able to enjoy this meeting together. And before we begin, uh, I want to welcome our presiding officer for today. We have a very pragmatic, energetic, diverse, creative, and talented Toastmaster Jayati with us, playing the presiding officer in absence of our president. So welcome everyone, Toastmaster Jayati. Thank you, Sergeant Tatams. Please give her a thunderous a round of applause for her beautiful take on SA. Welcome everyone. Good evening to masters and guests. Yes, we do have a guest. I will talk to him later. So today we are on the 59th session of our WIN Toastmasters meeting. And today I would like to have a lovely meeting with all of us, with our videos turned on and always clapping and encouraging each and every one after they finish their speech or session. So today we are running a little short of time, I guess, I think. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce our general evaluator for today, Toastmaster Anisha. Toastmaster Anisha, I have known Toastmaster Anisha for quite some time now, although we don't interact so on, so not so much on a personal level, but I know her as this cool, calm, extremely talented and a wonderful, charming person. So today, I would like Toastmaster Anisha to please come onto the podium and explain her role. Toastmaster Anisha. Please, Thank you so ladies, much. With the applause, the sound of applause. Please well, welcome her to the podium. Sorry, I'm interrupting. Uh, first, we have to call Timod. She will yeah, set the rules and then she will I'm call sorry. Toastmaster Anisa. Yeah. You I'm please, sorry. if any I'm guest, sorry. please intro, uh, take introduction from the guest. If there is any guest. Okay, and I'm Toastmaster sorry. Anisa, Toastmaster you are a guest today. So please share a few words for encouraging with all of us. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry for messing it all up. So first, I would like to introduce our Toastmaster of the day today, Toastmaster Amrita Joshi. She is yeah. someone who has been associated with me from the time I started. I, I did the skit for our whole uh, division as such. And we had a great, great, great time with her. And she is someone who is always so dependable. And whenever I ask her to play a certain role, she's always telling me, give me any role. I'll just take it up. And that is why, that is why this lady, the Toastmaster of the day of today, is a wonderful, wonderful person, an intelligent, a very, a very understanding person. That is what I would like to tell her about you. So today, my friends, Toastmasters, I would like to introduce our Toastmaster of the day, 
Toastmaster Amrita. Toastmaster Amrita, the podium is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, if you're wondering of this, if you're wondering about the sari I am in, if you're wondering about all that we do different, yes, there is a story. It's about Shivastavanti. She came today in the morning. She had to go for a lunch. And she was going for a lunch to her own son's house. And what she came with was a handful of sarees hanging here, there, left, right. And she wanted me to choose one of them. Shivastavanti is 85 years old. So the age did hollow her cheeks. She does have a nice dark glass on her eyes. Lean petite figure with 85 years of looking back. The enthusiasm in her was enough for her to be looking forward to the lunch today at her own son's house. She wanted everything to be prim and prom. She wanted herself to look beautiful. And that was something which made me think. Which made me think age is just a number. It made me think the energy, the enthusiasm that she holds within her is so infectious that it's spreading all around. After she went off, I took a bit of that enthusiasm, a few drops of those energy waves that she kept radiating throughout. And it became an inspiration to me. I did take out five, 10 minutes extra for today's meeting. Maybe become a little more presentable. Because Shiva Savanti made that effort of making herself presentable for today's lunch that radiated all of this towards me. And that's what inspiration is all about. It's a feeling of enthusiasm that we get from somebody or it can be from something as well, right? Why do we forget the wonderful icon that most of you would have behind your phones on the ear dopes that you use, the iPads, the laptops, the Apple, yes. After months and weeks of thinking about the logo, what should it be, and getting refused on so many ideas, this famous Apple logo became the one which was approved and has been circulated all around the world. Maybe the worst thing in an Apple packet would be sold very well today. No, that's what brand was. That this logo was an inspiration. After getting refused for two, three ideas, what did he get inspiration from? A small little apple, which he had a bite, and he just kept it on the dining table. Who was he? Anyone? jobs i don't know <laughs> yeah and his inspiration was not someone was a thing a little apple became an inspiration so that's what i wanted to dedicate this evening to little inspirations in our lives we keep moving day in day out picking up so many inspirations from so many things so many people all around us maybe within the club we have been inspiring each other or maybe we have been getting inspired by somebody else so this is what my theme for the day is. And I intend 
to awaken all of us to new possibilities and at least make an effort of transcending our ordinary experiences and limitations into something very extraordinary for someone else. And that's what inspiration for me is. With that, some inspirations come from people, as I told. We take our inspiration from our general evaluator, Toastmaster Anisha Roy as well. Probably her third visit at Win Toastmasters Club. Am I right, Anisha? Toastmaster Anisha? Yes. So, uh, Toastmaster Anisha has been a Toastmaster for around three years and has been a part of the Newtown Toastmasters Club in various capacities. Every time we've had you with us, Toastmaster Anisha, it has been a learning experience. We look forward to this evening with you today. Let's give a big, big round of applause for the Toastmaster of the day. Toastmaster Amrita loved it. Absolutely inspiring, going with the theme. And may I say that less I am inspired, I mean, less I can inspire, I'm definitely inspired every time I visit the Win Toastmasters meeting. And you're right, I think this is the third or the fourth time and the energy never ceases to amaze, amaze me. So thank you once again, each and every one. But well, today I have a hefty role as a general evaluator. Now a general evaluator is someone who has been working ever since the meeting started and I joined in a little late. We will be evaluating the entire session, starting from the speakers and all other role players. Now, when I say it's a hefty task, it's not easy for me to do it alone, right? I also need to be inspired and have a team that inspires me to be a general evaluator. And I have three role players with me today. The first is our timer for today. So Toastmaster Vandana, can I please call you on stage and you can explain your role as the timer. Over to you. Good evening, everyone. And thank you, Toastmaster Astha, uh, uh, Ashna, our general evaluator. So today, my role as a timer, I will be take care of all the timings of all the prepared speakers, table topic speakers. And I will show my red, uh, green card at the minimum time. I will show my yellow card at medium time and I'll show my red card at the maximum time. But until the grace period is 30 minutes upper hand and lower hand, till the grace period is there, I will show the, uh, the red card will be flashed to the, uh, till 30 seconds more till the speaker speak. So as you all know that the timing of the speaker is five to seven minutes. And for the table topic speakers, the timing time limit is one to two minutes with the grace period of 30 seconds and uh, no lower grace period in table topic section. The speaker has to speak for one minute to enter for the uh, voting. I think I have completed with this. I hand over the podium to our general evaluator, Toastmaster Ashna. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Vandana. I would like to just ask uh, a little more. That is, how will you, will you share screen or will you change the background? If you can just show us once how you will, um, how you will show the different timer cards, it will be easy for the speaker. Okay. Yeah, I will share my background. Okay. The minimum, I will show green card. And medium, I will show this uh, yellow card. And at maximum, I will show this green card. Oh, Thank you. Perfect. Over to you. Perfect. And I also want to, I'll take this moment to just ask the speaker or anyone, who, especially the uh, prepared speakers, please do try and pin the timer because that helps you to keep, to see that screen. Because if you're on a gallery view, it, it might disrupt. So keep in mind, you need to pin the timer and the best way is to be on time. So, Thank you so much once again, Toastmaster Vandana. Now, may I please call on stage the R counter for today? So, the R counter, please uh, give us your role for today. Okay, I think she has not joined. Uh, let's quickly move on to the grammarian. 
So can I please call on stage the grammarian for today, which is Toastmaster Kalpita. So Toastmaster Kalpita, can we please have the role of the grammarian? Thank you, our general evaluator, Toastmaster Anisha. It's so wonderful to see you back with us. Well, as a grammarian, my job is to note the good usage and not so good usage of grammars. And to start off with, I've already started noting so many good usages of grammar because of uh, the speech, the beginning, the starting, the started with our Toastmaster Amrita, who is an eloquent speaker. So looking forward to hear more good usage of grammar. And, uh, uh, and also, I, I'll have to share a word of the day, right, as a grammarian. So I'll just share my screen with you all. The word of the day is trite. It means unoriginal and lacking in importance. The few of the examples that can be used in a sentence are, I did not finish the novel because the story's plot was trite and uninspiring. At parties, I tend to avoid trite conversations because they are dull and do not reveal any new information. The senator's response to the unemployment question was trite and unconvincing. Will you stop using those trite cliches? When the comedian finished his trite performance, most of the audience was yawning. I hope I have been able to explain the meaning of the word through some sentences. I'll also share this word on the chat box uh, so that it can help everyone to refer to the word. And whoever uses the word, every time somebody uses the word, will be acknowledged with a thumbs up. Uh, and I'll come back with the report at the end of the session. Uh, over to you and thank you so much. Over to you, General Evaluator Anisha. Great. Let's give a big round of applause for our grammarian, hefty task, and a very interesting word of the day, I must say. Let's try and use that. So finally, calling in the R counter for today, Toastmaster Jayati, to give us the role for the R counter. So over to you, Toastmaster Jayati. Uh, you're on mute, Toastmaster Jet. Thank you, General Evaluator. I am the R counter for today. Good evening, Toastmasters and guests. As introduced, I am your R counter for today, and it is my responsibility to note down any overused words or filler sounds used as a crutch by anyone who speaks during the meetings. So I will be noting down R, uh, R, uh, uh, O, so and if they are overused and which might be used as a crutch or filler words. I will present my report as and when the general evaluator asks me to do so. Thank you, general evaluator, over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Jayati. And uh, once again, we have to keep our R's and ums in check. Now that my team has introduced, and well, I'm feeling quite inspired in this session to move ahead, I will hand it back to our very, very, very sweet and uplifting, I must say, Toastmaster Amrita, the TMOD. Over to you, Toastmaster Amrita. And Thank you so much, our general evaluator, Toastmaster Anisha. Wonderful team to take care of all of us inspirational yet again taking the theme forward i had one little name of a little child to mention many must have already heard about sparsha child born in new jersey with 35 bones fractured when he was born a special brittle bone syndrome is a disease that this child goes through. Sparsh was born to Indian parents in New Jersey and somehow was battling the adversities of life. All the conversations of this is not possible, that cannot be done, were probably tried for him. He did not 
take those conversations easily. Decided to come up and make it a man. Sparsh is a TED Talk speaker today. He is a rapper, he is a music musician, he is a lyricist, and Sparsh already has a documentary made on him and his life. Sparsha is on a wheelchair, cannot even sit straight, and yet has been taking up all these shows of Little Big Shots, Kaan Banega Karorpati, and the name of his documentary is Brittle Bone Rapper. I happened to listen to one of these TED Talks of Sparsh. I was in tears, touched to the core, and yet inspired. A little child who's never seen anything better than fractures and broken bones and struggling and taking care of himself and parents taking care of him all around has the capacity to motivate the world around him. Imagine he is rendering motivational talks. He is a motivational speaker. It all looks very small for us then. Our stories become so small, so petty when we look at people like this. This inspiration is what brings us to Toastmasters and our meeting today is going to be divided into three segments. The first would be prepared speech segment where we have our prepared speaker, Toastmaster Kanchan, rendering her speech. Before uh, calling on Toastmaster Kanchan, I call on her evaluator. Me. A very familiar face to all of us. Had you not said me, it would have made so much sense. The presiding offer often refers to her as a true institution in herself at Toastmasters. Very hardworking and an eager learner, Toastmaster Neelu Sharma, to set up the expectations for our speaker one. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the evening, Toastmaster Amrita, for the wonderful introduction. Today, the speaker is going to present her speech from Pathway Presentation Mastery Level 3. Project 2, deliver a social speech. The purpose of the speech is to, the speech of the project is to practice delivering a social speech in front of your club members. Timer, please note, time limit is five to seven minutes. And uh, I have title, but I guess, it is team hard work, so I'm living here. All the best, Toastmaster Kanchan. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Amrita. Over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Nilu. Now, our speaker one is just about a year old at Toastmasters and is already serving as the secretary of Hindi Toastmasters Club at Delhi. A software engineer by profession, Toastmaster Kanchan has diverse hobbies. And she's about to render a speech on the girl child. Toastmaster Kanchan, the girl child. Thank you so much, today's TMOD, uh, Toastmaster Amrita, for giving me podium. So a very good evening to all my fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. I'm presenting my speech on the topic, The Girl Child. By empowering a woman. We empower a child. By educating a girl child, 
we make it possible for her to grow up to become an empowered woman so today is my day devoted devoted to the girl child i am happy i'm so happy in my pink frock yes and golden curls i'm happy in my pink frock and golden curls rattling of poetry and playing with my doll a little doll they are writing they are writing tales about today so glorifying me but what about other day can i celebrate it every day as i can honored loved and allowed to live as i grow as i grow i am always a daughter a wife a mother a daughter in law yeah of course sister in law but when will i be me yes only me from the day i conceived many people started advising me that as it was my first pregnancy so i was confused that whom to listen then my husband said lend them all ears but follow only the doctor's advice yes of course i will follow when my daughter was born they all advise again the girl child should be brought up for more modernity etc 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 and many advices i have got so but i decided to brought up my own modesty my own motherly way and i used to tell her the stories of heroic women to that she would have some daringness of them some courageous of them then i i wanted to her to be the personification of like rani lakshmi bhai jhansi ki rani lakshmi bhai like kalpana chavla kiran bedi and many such courageous women i want to become her that a fearless woman of india as you know all that you must have seen the tokyo olympic games in 2020 2021 there are many girls made their own identity with her own hard work so the indian hockey team did a wonderful job in the quarter finals of the tokyo olympic as you all know and also the women hockey team played such an amazing game that had achieved its highest position for first time yes i have some olympic examples olympic games examples like uh, you have heard about the meera bai chanu a 26 years old girl meera bai chanu won the silver medal by lifting 202 kg so that was the power of a girl in these same olympic games the other side we can say that pv sandhu 
won silver medal in the badminton and the sakshi malik won bronze medal in wrestling can you believe it in wrestling any girl can won a silver medal yes of course if you give your 100% then you can achieve your goal whether you are a girl or a boy so that means girl can make their name in any field and achieve their goals all they need is a little bit of self confidence yes it's a self confidence make their courageous so i want to tell the all that girls without falling any trap of equality increase your self confidence first then try to set a different identity for yourself <coughs> sorry whether you get a equal status or not you should definitely get as much as you deserve do what you want to do in your life not by the other decided by listening to your mind and your heart set your own goals and work hard on others work hard on them so i, I can say that the girl child is the sweetest blessings and most beautiful creation of god thank you so much and the podium is yours toastmaster of the day amrita toastmaster amrita thank you so much toastmaster kanchan what an inspiring speech and i wish this was aired all around for the world to get inspired yes a lot of inspirational stories from a lot of women all around us i'm sure we all had our share of inspirations coming day in day out is there anyone who would want to share something from their own lives someone who's been an inspiration to you or maybe you were inspiring someone i want to say something yes sir specially toastmaster kanchan is from hindi toastmaster club and i believe she doesn't have any mentor of english too and the way she tried to give a speech in english it was really awesome and friends she is pregnant and in next month she has to deliver a baby how much problem she is facing right now and i respect her feelings and i respect the way she delivered her speech without any preparation without any mentor hats off to you toastmaster kanchan thank you so much toastmaster amrita today my inspiration is toastmaster kanchan over to you and my inspiration is you ma'am <laughs> yes my inspiration in toastmaster is neelu ma'am i have learned a lot of things to her yeah thank you so much neelu ma'am and thank you so much to all listening to me thank you indeed truly inspiring women is there anyone who has some more, some more inspirational stories from their own lives i thought all of us would raise hands to say my mother was an inspiration to me that's the most common one that i come across yes i had one Just Master Ramesh, you want to share something with us? Yeah. So uh, okay, I have to change my background. Wait. Yeah. So as you suggested that everybody has their first inspiration in the form of mother. So my mother, I would say that uh, she is my inspiration of sort because what has happened that uh, when we were growing up, she was in a good position. She was principal of a school. 
and her sister lost her uh, husband very young uh, in her mid 20s and she had three uh, kids to support and how my mother not only brought uh, got her children but also her sister's children as well so she took care of uh, eight of us and means i aged she i aged uh, my maternal aunt was uh, only uh, educated till graduation so she looked after her so that she completes her post graduation takes up a job becomes responsible enough to feed her children so that's one story that i would like to share that uh, yes our mothers are inspirational because they are unlike uh, the mothers that we come across uh, say from other places and yeah that's what i would like to share amazing amazing story so it was not just inspiring uh, her life was inspiring she was making somebody else ready to inspire more people great do we have any more stories this master bidisha this master shaida Okay, just first, Kalpita is raising her hand. Well, uh, since you were talking about the inspiration that we got from our mothers, yeah, this um, story just uh, came to my mind. It's like a story, or you can see like what I've learned from my mother. My mother was a good student at school, and she loved reading. She loved reading, and mathematics was one of her favorite subjects, and uh, unfortunately uh, since uh, she did not belong to a very well off family her father, her, there were two daughters and one brother one uh, yeah two daughters and one son like her, she had a sister and a brother right so those days it was like that that son has to have to be brought up in such a manner that he has to run the show and the family so daughters are married earlier no matter how good they might be at studies so my so the same principle as used as were followed those days the same was happened with my mother she got married before she completed her graduation she did her graduation and post which she was busy uh, with her she also had two daughters like i have two we are two sisters and one brother so she also got busy with her household and everything she never got the opportunity to work but to be very frank i have seen my mother from my childhood whenever i whenever she used to get anything to read any kind of a newspaper or any kind of you know those kind of wrappers which comes on with some uh, something uh, some kind of a material and that had that has some kind of a sum or mathematics she would solve it at that point of time and she, then a new word she would learn and she would tell it to us you know that learning attitude she never became a profession uh, she was not a, a professional teacher but she loved teaching and uh, she provided uh, this uh, i mean uh, the social service i can say in this manner that like she taught the maids daughters sons and uh, in whatever way she, possible today she is also a uh, at this age also she is uh, an active member of uh, sri satyasai seva organization and she is the educational coordinator she still loves teaching and she loves learning though she has not got the opportunity she was an excellent student out of the three brothers and sisters still everybody says but unfortunately but she never stopped learning and that's inspiring that that was how she has sacrificed or what you can say how she has brought us up in the hardest way possible yet learning and teaching us and inspiring us in every way that's the story of my mother over to you to master of the day thank you thank you so much to master kalpita real inspiring stories coming from all around 
and this inspiration i take it forward because i love these small little personal stories so the second segment of our meeting today is the impromptu speech section where we are going to share some more speeches like this some more stories inspir inspiring us and uh, to take us into the session we have our table topic master toastmaster bidisha who is a girl with a bright and smiling face very new to toastmasters club and playing her role as a table topic master for the first time. So we look forward to the session, Toastmaster Bidisha. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Amrita, for the wonderful words. So before uh, starting my, before playing my, uh, taking, saying about my role, can I also say something inspiring from my mother? Yes, please, sure. Okay, so my mother got married at a very early age. Uh, and uh, actually, when she was in her college days, she used to write articles. She also used to get prizes and all. But after getting married, she had to stop everything. She had to stop her hobby and everything. But um, after 18 years of her marriage, she uh, actually, I only opened a Facebook account for her. And then after that, she started, uh, she got into some clubs and some groups in Facebook. I don't know what, but uh, again, she started writing small articles and uh, something, but in that uh, Facebook account, in that in those clubs, she got a lot of inspiration from many people. She, mm, many people encourage her to write uh, more and more. And now, till now, she have completed writing three books and also she, she regularly writes in newspapers. So it's a, uh, I think she's also inspiration for me to write and uh, also to think and also to think that uh, age is just a number. We can start our, we can start our hobbies. We can, you know, we can just deal with everything whenever we can, uh, whenever we can, age is just a number. So that's all. Thank you. Okay, so, so uh, I'm Toastmaster Bidisha and and today I'm the Toastmaster uh, Table Topic Master for the session and as I have prepared few topics for all of you so please feel free and nominate yourselves for the session. Everybody can uh, raise their hands in the chat box. I think no one is nominating yourself. Uh, Toastmaster Bidisha, we have Toastmaster Umesh and Toastmaster Nilu who have raised their hands. Okay. So, Toast, oh, sorry, I think I, okay. So, Toastmaster Nilu, will you uh, take the topic first? Yeah, sure. Yeah. As today's uh, theme is inspiration, so your topic is your greatest inspiration in life. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Vedisha. My greatest inspiration, if I say many, I met many people who inspired me a lot, starting from my teacher, he, his name was Nursing Sir. He was a science teacher and till class 12, he taught me. He was an amazing person. And at that time, uh, we were struggling as uh, financially. My childhood was mark of uh, struggling because we were six sisters and we don't uh, we don't have enough resources or uh, we don't have enough money to give our tutor. He taught all of our sisters in his coaching center in free. So. I still, the way he taught, the point he declared, the, each and everything had logic. And the way he taught us, it was so easy to understand and it gave us inspiration to learn more. So I never forget his work and how he helped my family he made my mom his sister and last year he died and 
at the age means of 90 even he tried to visit my home and uh, on the day of rakhi and he was an amazing human being i never ever forget how he helped us so he was my inspiration and because of him i was very good at science and math and i can teach uh, still teach all the subjects up to eight class and science till 12. so thank you to her for this over to you toastmaster Vidisa. thank you toastmaster nilu it was quite inspiring and now i think okay toastmaster second up is toastmaster sajida shahida sorry yes so toast Toastmaster Shahida, your topic is uh, just one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole. Oh, one second. I cannot see the timer, the cards. I think Toastmaster Vandana is actually, the timer. Actually, I am the timer now. Uh, Vandana has gone. So, okay, you will change I, the colors. Yeah, I'll, I'll change my background color. Okay. Sorry. Yes, please go ahead. Okay, so your topic is uh, just one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. Bang, 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 bang. This two days of weekend has been spent, my dear ladies, one on KGF and the other on RRR, where the hero takes bullets and bullets and bullets and physically they are wounded and you think, oh, the movie is coming to an end because the hero, I'm sorry, there's no heroine, but the hero has gone and is dead. But not all that you expect is correct when it comes to Bollywood because the hero rises again. But the point here coming to my table topic is not all wounds are physical. Not all heroes wake up from physical wounds and again go on to conquer the world or the Bollywood. There are heroes and heroines, or let me put it, there are heroines and heroes it's four who take wounds in their hearts, the emotional ones, and they come up. And they rise again like an albatross and they rise to, to reign the world like a queen. And one such lady, my dear friend, is my mother-in-law. Yes, the daughter-in-law, mother-in-law is a matter of trite everywhere. It's not important. It's not a matter of heart. But my mother-in-law is a mother by heart for me. I have seen her and she's such a character who inspires me a lot. Yeah, it's not a KG that every morning you need to watch. When I see my mother-in-law devoting and motivating all of us, it's such a big inspiration. And every morning I see her and that is what keeps me going. She is my KGF, she is my RRR. She is somebody who is a very renowned sitar player, but she did not do it for money. It's her choice, no doubt, but she wanted to pursue her sitar and she started teaching specially able children in Trivandrum. And when you see those children who works with sitar, a very difficult stringed instrument, there is no other inspiration that I need to look out. She's somebody who's full with energy, at the age of 65, my dear ladies, for two years, she was the one who was managing the house during the lockdown. lockdown. I was only an apprentice. So this is the source. This is the volcano of my inspiration. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Sadira. It was wonderful. And next up is Toastmaster Umesh. Toastmaster Umesh, I think he is a guest. So, and your topic is? What inspired you to join our club for today's meeting? So if you were to ask me what joins me, then as you have seen that I've been coming to the meet, and I also observed that it, uh, it is sort of a, the composition is mostly women. But as I've already suggested that I've grown between women, like in particular three women, my mother, my sister, and my maternal aunt. So I do not distinguish that that a man or a woman. And my mentor in college or in my last professional stint was also a woman. Because in my view, they have a more strong emotional core. 
uh, I'll share one experience that in college, what used to happen that I used to be a little down and a woman uh, uh, peer could sense it more easily than a male peer. A male peer used to come to me to ask for money to say buy something from canteen. Whereas a woman peer used to come to me and ask me that, uh, are you feeling well or is something not good? She could really sense that. And in my view, if I were to increase my, uh, say, uh, speaking experience, then I have to speak to all the audiences possible and not specifically to a particular audience. So I look up to meeting all kinds of uh, and all different experiences that I can do. So that will, in a way, improve my speaking experience and my prowess as a speaker, because you will not want to speak to a particular, say, person or particular, say, uh, en engage a particular thought. I will want a variety of experiences. So that's what brings me to the club. Over to you, Table Topic Master. Okay, wonderful. So next. Toastmaster JIT, would you like to take a topic? Ask is anybody, if anybody else wants to speak, go ahead, please. No, ma'am, I'm not seeing anyone in the chat box. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Toastmaster Kalpita, would you like to take? Yeah. Okay. Better. Okay. Um, be your own in your topic is be your own inspiration. Kalpita, Toastmaster Kalpita, you are on mute. Yeah, am I audible now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Be my own inspiration. That is what I am today, yes. After so many years of marriage, then bringing up my child, you know, I have struggled in different fields, different uh, places, different, you know, different uh, ways, like how I have to handle things and all those stuff. And Every experience have been the best teacher for me and they have taught me so much. But at the end of the day, when I read some articles, one day I read an article on newspaper and I saw that a mother is telling that the mother has sacrificed her entire life for uh, this uh, for her children and her, at the end of the channel and at the end of the journey the children are telling what have you done mom in your life that saddened the mother that demotivated the mother and that she had mentioned there on the and that interview i read and then i realized no it is enough now it is enough i have been given to my to this family and I will keep on giving them, but I have to buy, find my own space. The more I inspire myself to do work, the more I inspire myself to be, be better, better version of myself, I know I will be able to be a better mother, a better wife, and a better woman tomorrow. So I always have taken inspiration from everyone. In, in fact, Toastmasters, this entire team of Win Toastmasters is a big inspiration for me. And I like to inspire myself every day and every time. Thank you. And over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Kalpita. So here I have a last topic. Uh, who wants to take? Toastmaster Amrita, would you take one? I thought I was anyway doing too many table topics today, but fine. I'll take one. Okay. Uh, how can you become, how can you inspire others?
I have recently turned into a teacher. When I say recent, it's been seven years. And I like to note. Now, being a teacher is a very different experience in itself. It's like a set of 250 children who come into your wings every year. This is the beginning of the session around March. Then you begin to get familiar. You understand them all 250 at once. You try to help them understand yourself and your methodologies. So by the time it's August and September, you're more or less, okay, less of friction and we are understanding each other. The speed of the syllabus takes up then. And that's when the syllabus becomes, the learning becomes a little less important than what a teacher imparts as a person. And that's what I usually uh, state that is important and an offline educational mode that a role model an inspiration a conversational person to be talking to looking up to and that's what begins that's where we begin to bond i begin to learn about them their families their lives their difficulties their challenges their strengths and almost the similar thing happens within of course the boundaries happens with them and by the time they are about to get out pass out into the next grade we are all very well bonded and that's when i get to know what they like what they dislike over these years, seven years, I have had several students who have been touched, inspired by me, by something that I did. And I reflect back and I think very good about it. I feel good about it. Who doesn't like praises? All do. The other inspirational uh, person I have been to is my daughter, I believe. My daughter always keeps looking up to me and telling me, Mama, how do you do that? How are you able to understand this? I never told you. A lot of times she has told me, how do you do so much of multitasking? You just came in. How did you cook up a dinner? And these are times where very, very small instances where we keep inspiring people. In our own lives, I just said, these are very, very ordinary, simple, little, small things. They become very extraordinary for others a lot of times. And that's how I feel I've been inspirational so many times, as you've all been. Wonderful, Toastmaster Amrita. I think Toastmaster Anisha wants to take a topic okay. uh, no 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 toastmaster vidisha just read the message once once again okay oh okay okay sorry yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. if you can just share yeah yeah okay so here we come to the end of the table topic session and i think all the speeches were very inspiring and good over to you toastmaster amrita Thank you so much, Toastmaster Vidisha. That was a wonderful session. A lot of very simple, small, short personal stories to help you all know each other better. Little inspirations we've been taking from each other, as I stated earlier. But one of the topics that you gave was how to inspire yourself was a very power packed topic is what I felt small little things which might just have been said so many times by so many people maybe we said it to ourselves so many times but we keep it's actually a tried now but we've keep kept pushing it back and brought other things into priority give yourself a break take a cup of coffee sit in front of that dressing table and put on that lipstick yes Maybe go out with your friends. 
not cook at home once. Let's take up that hobby that we have given up. Those maestros, the singers and the dancers in us. The lockdown was great in this sense, at least, that brought out all our hobbies. A lot of us have uncovered ourselves and known ourselves better. I probably picked up the paintbrush after 15, 20 years. A lot of things that we need to look back, maybe exercise once again, inspire yourself. Yes, maybe it will take a little while to get out of the bed Sunday morning and get into the exercise mode. But yes, if you do that, you're inspiring yourself. And a lot of things that we already know. So let's shake up, wake up and do it. Inspire ourselves all over again. And with those inspirations, we take some more from the evaluation session and we proceed towards our general evaluator, Toastmaster Anisha Roy. And she will be giving us more pointers to take up, wake up and inspire ourselves. Thank you. Let's give a big round of applause for our wonderful Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Amrita. And I am back with my team. So before I begin my evaluation, I would like to call on Toastmaster Neelu as the evaluator for the prepared speaker. Over to you, Toastmaster Neelu. Thank you so much, Madam General Evaluator. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and Toastmaster Kanchan in particular. A girl, child. Yes, the title of your speech captivated me and I can say with conviction, it hooked the audience too. It was a very emotional speech and you used as a prop, pink dress, lovely doll. Oh my God, what an awe moment I could say. You stated that we women have to give support to make a girl to a very empowered woman. And I love the way you describe, we play multiple roles like daughter, daughter-in-law, mother, but what about me? We have to focus on us too. Really, I love the way, and I love your confidence. When you, uh, said you would be a speaker, I was surprised without any preparation, you are going to deliver a speech. So it was really amazing. And uh, as we all know, there is always a room for improvement. I have few tips for you too. The, your speech needs bit voice mod modulation. When you said we should give everything and we should try to be, uh, help them to become a very overconfident woman. And when like Kiran Vidhi, Rani Lakshmi wife, and we should give a fearless woman, you have to add some energy and drama in your voice. And uh, please practice more. It was looking that you are taking, uh, looking here and there. So practice more. And before giving your speech, please consult your mentor. We Toastmaster, we all are here to help you. Please choose anyone in us, anyone. We would love to please, we would love to assist you. So please uh, take advice from your mentor, do practice and come again with the bang and just surprise us with your awesome speech. Thank you so much Toastmaster Kanchan. Looking forward for more speeches. Thank you so much. Over to you. Thank you. Let's give a big round of applause for Toastmaster Neelu. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Neelu. Um, I will come to Toastmaster Neelu now and then to the speaker. Toastmaster Neelu flawlessly delivered evaluation, I must say. Uh, 
it was quite inspiring how you sought the good parts of the speech, narrated where she did well, and gave her at the same time, uh, gave the speaker at the same time, uh, the point that she can work upon. So great job done to us, Master Nilu. I do not have any recommendations for you. I think you hit every point that I would have covered myself. And now moving on to the speaker, I will say Toastmaster Kalpana, uh, Toastmaster Kanchan, a very, very, very powerful speech and a speech that is in the need of the hour, especially coming from someone who is uh, going to have, uh, is on the process of giving birth to new life, I think in itself is very inspiring, just like Toastmaster Nilu said. Um, I don't have much recommendation because as was Master Nidu said, you need to practice a little more, uh, you need to get in touch with your mentor and all of those things I think the evaluator has already pointed out. I would just say that keep coming, keep giving speeches because that's the only way that you gain confidence. So it doesn't have to be a prepared speech, it can be a table topics, it can be anything, any role. That's how you improve, that's how you, um, that's how you get inspired actually one step at a time so that in itself will help you out and once again congratulations and best wishes thank you so much uh, both the evaluator and the speaker now i'll quickly move on to the evaluation on of the tab table topics starting with uh toastmaster nilu her topic was your greatest inspiration in life i think toastmaster nilu herself is a very powerful speaker like the way she gave the evaluation, her, um, how should I say this? Her energy, it always comes through, whether it's a table topic or any kind of uh, a role that she is playing. And she did have a very, very good and a powerful take on this topic. So I absolutely love it. I do not have any recommendations. You are yourself a seasoned speaker. So I liked how you uh, dealt with this specific topic. Yeah. Moving on, uh, to Toastmaster Shahida, her topic was more, one positive thought in a day can change your whole day. Just confirm table topic master if I noted it right, because the slightly long I missed as I already started listening to the speaker. So once again, Toastmaster Shahida, I loved how you started your table topic speech. At first I was thinking, is there like, is there a problem uh, in my system or what is happening? And then I understood that, you know, this is how you're starting the topic and bang on when you cannot really understand that it, it becomes so real is actually you when you know that uh, you are having that kind of an impression. So great job done there, Toastmaster Shahida. You are yourself. You don't use a lot of hand gestures, but your voice is very powerful. And that in itself, especially during online sessions, it's so important. I liked how you used uh, references from your personal life and uh, built a story around the topic. It could have been something more generic. You did work on a generic angle, but then you brought in a very nice personal story. So great job done there, Toastmaster Shahida. I don't have any recommendations for you, really. Uh, moving on to our third speaker, which is Toastmaster Umesh. His topic was, what inspires you to join our meeting today, right? Uh, so Toastmaster Umesh, uh, I think wonderfully done because uh, there's one thing that, you know, to, to get inspired or you can, you could have taken a very straight route at it, that this is what inspired, this is what, uh, you know, a very one directional, but you had so much of content, you had so much of uh, a story build up to that, so that in itself uh, makes sure that you have that conviction to actually and that did uh, you know shape up your table topics as well in a very good way um, I also liked how I worked with Master Umesh since I am evaluating you I liked how you shared your inspiration as your mother and how she um, you know she she did what she did so great job done there I think that was also very well uh, dealt Moving on to uh, Toastmaster Kalpita, her topic was be your own inspiration. And may I just say Toastmaster Kalpita, I second you when uh, you said that we do everything for everyone, but sometimes, you know, when we come down, we have to be our own strength. We have to be our own inspiration. So wonderfully done there, uh, Toastmaster Kalpita. I don't have any recommendations. I feel that all of the topics were very, uh, were very close to heart. So everyone spoke in that way. And I seriously don't have any recommendations for any of you because they are personal stories. Um, 
I apologize. I missed noting down the. Uh, I missed the table topics for Toastmaster Amrita. Um, if someone can help me with that, if the table topic master can help me with that, I wrote that in the chat. Uh, yeah. So Toastmaster Amrita, once again, as a uh, as a Toastmaster of the day in itself, you're so inspiring that I definitely knew your table topics would be powerful, and definitely it was. I liked. Um, I think it, it is a trend in how you are doing the Toastmaster of the session. I think that's your speaking style. And I liked how you put that into your um, table topics as well, because table topics is just like one, one and a half, two minutes, two and a half minutes. But then you, you brought everything together and you did not lose your, uh, your flow because it gets difficult as the table topic, uh, as the Toastmaster of the day and as a table topic speaker to, you know, balance out that, Away. So I think you did a great job. Um, yeah, how can you inspire others, right? So I got the <laughs> your uh, topic right now. So how can you inspire others? So great job done there, Toastmaster Amrita. You are a very naturally fluent speaker. Again, I don't have any recommendations for you as well. So like I said, each and every table topic, you might be surprised why I don't have recommendations because everyone's story is different. In fact, the theme for today in itself is inspiration. So we draw inspiration from one another. We might have a few things like hand gestures and voice modulations and things like that, but it's a table topic. It's how you express yourself that really counts, unless you are definitely in a competition. And I feel that everyone express themselves their best way. So great job done, guys. And uh, now it comes to my time to call in my three. Uh, yeah. So let me just call in my three uh, team players, starting with the timer, Toastmaster Vandana. Toastmaster Vandana, over to you for the timer's report. I think Toastmaster Vandana has left. Uh, Toastmaster Kanchan will be given. Toastmaster Kanchan. Okay, yeah, Toastmaster uh, Kanchan. You can just quickly share the. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Yes, uh, Vandana ma'am is not here. Uh, like, so I'll tell you the timings of table topic speakers as I have noted. I have. I didn't have noted my time, so I only tell the table topic speakers timing. Like the uh, speaker one, Toastmaster Nilu took two minutes, four seconds. Toastmaster Shahida took. Toastmaster Shahida took two minutes, 27 minutes, uh, two minutes, 27 seconds. Toastmaster uh, Omesh and speaker three took one minute, 35 seconds. Toastmaster Kalpita as a speaker four took two minutes, 18 seconds. And uh, Toastmaster Amrita, speaker five took two minutes, 58 seconds. And as an evaluator, uh, Toastmaster Nilu took two minutes, 33 seconds. So this is the overall uh, timing reports. Great. Yeah, over Thank to you, General so Evaluator. Thank you so much to Master Kanjan for stepping in and giving us a flawless timers report. Um, however, I would like someone to just uh, coordinate with Toastmaster Vandana and know the speaker's timing as well. So that will help the speaker, right? Which is Toastmaster uh, Kanjan once again. I was, I was looking at Toast, Madam General Evaluator, I was looking at the card. Toastmaster Anisa was on time, but exact time uh, I'm asking. Yeah, 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 sure, 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 sure. Toastmaster, your signal is a little, your voice is a little fluctuating, but I could get what you meant. If you can just let uh, the speaker know what is the exact time, that will help her out. That, that's all. So great job done as the time on Toastmaster Kanchan. Moving on to the R Counters report. Yes, let's give a big round of applause. Moving on to the R Counters report to Toastmaster Jayati. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Toastmaster Anisha. Here's my report. Toastmaster Amrita, once R, and 
thrice. Toastmaster Anisha, A once, A multiple times. Toastmaster Kalpita, A twice. Toastmaster Vandana, A thrice, two so. Toastmaster Kanchan, A twice, um twice, A thrice, and so multiple times. Toastmaster Nidu, A once. Toastmaster Shahida, you are flawless. Toastmaster Umesh, a once and twice, so thrice. Toastmaster Vidisha, a once, um once, a twice, and myself, a once, twice, a, and three times, and. Thank you, and over to you, General Bank. Thank you, Toastmaster Jayati. Lovely report delivered absolutely flawlessly. And I love the fact that you also took note of your R's and arms. That shows how honestly and how beautifully you captured everything in the session. Thank you once again, Toastmaster Jayati. And she also stepped up very last minute and took up on the role. So once again, big round of applause, Toastmaster Jayati. So finally, moving on to our grammarian for today, which is... You just Toastmaster Kalpita. If uh, you just yes. Yes. yes, Toastmaster Kalpita. I'm just not that Thank with names. Thank yeah. you, oh. Agile Evaluator, Toastmaster Anisha. Well, many a times we think that uh, things or words or sentences that we say are trite and we feel not to use it. And that had happened for the word of the day, trite. So unfortunately, I have noted it had been used only once by Toastmaster Amrita. Well, there are many good usages of words like infectious, pragmatic, radiate, transcended, expedition, amaze, hefty, glorifying, and some phrases like waves kept radiating, one step at a time and so on. I've noted a few not so good usages wherein there are some grammatical errors, I feel, like uh, no lower grace period. We use, there are no grace periods. Okay. Second is, I went, I want to become that fearless woman. Instead, we can write, or we can see as, I wanted her to become a fearless woman. Third, not by the other decided for us. It should not be mentioned like that. Not by what the others have decided for us. That is better. Then we can uh, mention like uh, there are like uh, sis sister in taught us, taught all of our sister in free. Instead of that, we can write, we can mention taught us all for free. And that's it so far. That's, that's all I've noted for not so good usages of words. Over to you, my, with my report. Over to you, General Valley. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Kalpita. Wonderfully summarized and a very crisp grammarian's report. I think all of us are going to take note of the good usages and the not so good usages. And... Uh, tried that word is I have noted it down but apologies I also couldn't somehow use it in the way that I speak but a wonderful word a new word uh, to learn and take back from so that's all with the yes 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 over uh, Toastmaster Amrita yeah yeah maybe just seconding yes it is a new word for all of us Yes, yes. Lovely. I think it's so interesting. You know, you get a new word. I at least I note down every new word I see here and there. And then I had this big notebook where I have few words, at least a few words in a week. And then, you know, adds to your vocabulary. It's a great job done there, Toastmaster Kalpita, I would say. So that's all from my team. Now I get back to the toughest part in this job, which is evaluating everyone in the session, starting from the time at which the session started. So I joined in, apologies, my sincere apologies that I joined in a little late. I could note that the session started at six minutes and 40, uh, sorry, uh, 6.42 uh, 
p.m. is when the meeting started. I could see there was initially a little bit of technical glitch, at least from the time that I was there, I saw there was a little bit of technical glitch. So if that can be uh, as a suggestion, if that can be, uh, you know, dealt with a little joining in a little early, I get it, it's a Sunday afternoon. So there might be um, some other uh, things as well. But if a little bit early, we can join in and fix them on time, then we'll be able to, you know, have more timing for other more extended to a table uh, to smart of the day session maybe so no harm in that but yeah so moving on to the sergeant at arms i also uh, sorry moving on to the yes to the sergeant at arms so one i would like to mention here is that we have an online meeting uh, like a disclaimer for online meetings. So if you can just have that displayed, you don't have to read it, you can just have that displayed and side by side, you can do the rules. So it has the rules as well. And then it has the entire declaration as well. Uh, you can ask and if you don't have, I'll just, I think I have it. I'll just share it with someone with the team. So you can have that displayed and read it out as well. In case someone is not listening, just trying to join in, they'll just watch that as well. So nothing else from the, for the sergeant at arms. I really like the way that you introduce the presiding officer. You use some very nice words. Um, I, I think the grammarian has already noted them down, but very nice and positive one worded uh, introduction, which really is important sometimes because you might not know a person on the Toastmasters level or on a professional level, but you know how the person is, right? So that gives a more you know personalized and much more touching um, introduction. So great job done there. Moving on to the presiding officer. I would say the presiding officer, uh, I could say a little bit of confusion there, but then once Toastmaster Jaiti took up stage, I think she did a great job. We did not have um, any guests today, but I think Toastmaster Umesh was visiting. So like a quick uh, introduction there, but I, I think there was a little bit of confusion. That's why she introduced me, which is all right. Things like this, they keep happening and we go back and we think that, okay, next time I'll do better. So no calms in that. Great job done as a presiding officer. A presiding officer has to be uh, someone who owns the room, I think, after the sergeant at arms. So it's either the sergeant at arms creates the whole aura of this is the meeting and the presiding officer has to own the room because after the presiding officer gets time for like two minutes hardly or even lesser and then the everyone else gets a lot of time so i think toastmaster jayati encapsulated that two minutes very well um, you can also put in a little bit of story with the theme make use of that two minutes and just like i said own the room so great job done moving on to the toastmaster of the day toastmaster of the day I'm quite surprised in how um, I think you embodied the whole theme. Not only, not only did you, um, you know, not only did you just have a theme which in itself is making everyone sit up, but you decked up as well. Like you have your um, props. I would not say it's a prop; it's a beauty addition there. Your flowers and your well-coordinated sari blouse. Everything is perfect. Like. If I look at the screen right now, I know that this is the Toastmaster of the day and she is prim proper. She is at the meeting present right here. And then I, when I listen to the theme, I will say, yes, that fits in. That Toastmaster of the day definitely inspires me by how even she um, is, you know, having the stage to herself. I would say you have great facial expressions. Towards the starting, there was a lot of scope of, you know, um, how do I, I don't have the words. Like you have a good facial expressions, like every word you can express with your face. And that's a very rare quality. But anyone else who has that and feels that they have it, please make use of that. That's very important. Facial expression is not always, you know, how you do things. It's how you express every word with your eyes, with your cheeks, with how you move your lips. All of that is facial expression. So great job done there. I think you have that quite naturally. Also, you had great hand gestures there. Uh, small things I, I, I note down. Uh, I also liked how you started at a very nice storytelling way. You had a little bit of audience interaction during the logo for Apple. That was very brief, but very crisp, I think. And someone, I was also trying that, is that Steve Jobs? And someone said, I, I was confirmed. Yes, it is. So great job done there. I think uh, throughout the session also, you maintained um as a toastmaster of the day it's very important that you maintain the 
flow throughout the session and that you did. So great job done Toastmaster Amrita. Uh, I have no, um, you know, I have no recommendations for you. So great job done. Moving on to the uh, table topic master of today. So table topic master, Toastmaster Bidisha. Toastmaster Bidisha, I liked how you added your story there. And uh, then you moved on to the table topics. I think that's absolutely fine. Uh, during the table topics, I would like you to discuss a little bit more on uh, actually just reiterate the rules that the table topic, uh, the Toastmaster of the day might have said in very briefly. So just say that this, 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 this is your time. This is, this is the word of the day. Please try to use that. You know, just make everyone ready that this is the table topic session and just go over the rules. The guests can change their topic once. So um, even if you're telling the rules, just stress on them so that there is no miscommunication because today we have not, don't have that many people. But there might be a lot of people and a lot of guests might be confused. Toastmasters might be confused. So like that, you just have to stress on those rules once again at the table topic master. I think you had great topics, which I think you have already understood when I was giving the uh, evaluation because every topic touched upon the heart. So great job done there, Toastmaster Bidisha. And uh, yes, I have one recommendation for the entire team is that nobody renamed themselves. So if you can just take care of that, uh, because if you just rename yourself, even if someone joins last minute, like there's a switch of role players, maybe very last minute, then that person can just quickly look and, oh, okay, this is our counter. Oh, okay, this is, I think, um, the table topic mas uh, Toastmaster of the day has renamed herself. The others, if you could just rename, the moment you enter the session, just try to rename yourself. So you also know, you know, like, okay, I played this role here. So I don't have any other recommendations as such. Um, I think it was a very nice meeting, very well managed. Technical glitches are always part of online sessions. Let's not think about that. But overall, a great Sunday evening, I would definitely say for myself and everyone who joined in the session, congratulations, the entire WIN team. And with that, I complete my evaluation. And thank you once again for the opportunity. I hand it over to our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Amrita. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Madam General Evaluator. Toastmaster Anisha's evaluations have always been very, very uh, minute very very uh, fruitful and if you're able to work on them i i really make it makes a lot of sense for me to take away things and work with them and come back next time so it gives us a little work area to improve thank you so much for that inspirational the evening has been all of us have had lovely stories and i'm sure we are going back whatever we do to with whatever is rest of our sunday evening we will be thinking about our inspirations and how we inspire others may we keep looking for inspirations and in little things may we keep inspiring others and with that thought i hand over the stage to just faster jayati our presiding officer Thank you, Toastmaster. Uh, Amrita, polls are ready? Uh, poll is ready. I would just want to confirm once if you've read them in the chat. Yeah, uh, I have given you direct uh, message in chat. All the table topic speakers. Everything is okay. okay. I am the listening master. So let's do the polls after listening. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I am also the listening master of this. So I've noted down a few sentences of each and everyone who spoke over here. So I'm going to quiz you on that. Ready, everybody? Okay, let's go. Who said this? He is a motivational speaker and has a documentary on him. Who's that? He is a motivational speaker and has a documentary on him. Come on, quiz. Master Amrita told this. Master Amrita. Yes, yeah, so who's the person? Brittle, brittle bone rapper. Mr. Shah from New Jersey. Yes, yes, yes. Sparsh, Sparsh Shah. Yeah, right. Sparsh Shah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This line. Srivastava auntie has a load full of saris in her arms when she came in. Srivastava auntie. Yes. Okay. 
She is the secretary of Hindi Toastmasters Club. Who is she? Kanchan. Toastmaster Kanchan. Toastmaster Kanchan. Yes. By empowering a woman, we empowered a child. Who said it? Kanchan. Kanchan. Toastmaster Kanchan. Yes. Yes. Toastmaster Kanchan. The girl child is the sweetest blessing, the most beautiful creation of God. Postmaster Kanchan. Postmaster Kanchan. My mother brought up not only her children, but her sister's children too. Postmaster Omesh. Omesh. Yes. Yes. When will I be me? Was only Shahida listening? Only uh, today, I, will sure I have all the answers, but I can't answer, no? But she's too quick to answer. <laughs> Toastmaster Anisha, you're on mute. Uh, Toastmaster Kalpita, I think she said, when will I be me? Kan no, this was Toastmaster Kanchan. Kanchan. Toastmaster Kanchan. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Toastmaster Kanchan, yes. Mathematics was my mom's favorite Kalpita subject. Kalpita Banerjee. Toastmaster Kalpita. Yeah, Toastmaster Kalpita. This one. He taught us without taking any money. Toastmaster Nilu. Toastmaster Nilu. Yes. Yes. They rise again like an albatross. That is my mother-in-law. Toastmaster Shaila. <laughs> you didn't give the last yeah. reference. It would have been tough. <laughs> yeah. I had to address different audiences. Toastmaster Amrita. I had to address different audiences. Umesh? Toastmaster Umesh? Yes, Toastmaster Umesh. Yes. The last one. That saddened and demotivated the mother. Toastmaster Kalpita? Yes. Thank you so much. Now I take over the role of the presiding officer. Thank you. Just give, me yes. one yes. Minute. Yes. just give me a few seconds, actually. I just want to apologize that I missed introducing uh, Toastmaster Jayati as the listener. I, okay. I'm really sorry. I think uh, the agenda, I just missed it. So uh, okay. thank you so much, Toastmaster Jayati and everyone <laughs> for not minding this. Um, oh, and it's perfectly yeah. all right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. We mess up, just like how I messed up in the <laughs> We make these mistakes and we learn from it. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just I will definitely be more careful. Where, and we are all here to learn. Right. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I now take over my role as a presiding officer. So thank you, General Evaluator. Thank you to your Toastmaster of the Day. It was indeed a very inspirational session. And today, with this inspirational session, I think I am going to look back upon the people or the incidents which have inspired me. With this, I would like to talk to the guests. Well, not so much as guests. No, today, uh, these people have been coming to our clubs uh, quite often. So, and then they are guests. They are not from our club. That is why we put them in the guest bracket. The first person I would like to talk to is Toastmaster Umesh. Toastmaster Umesh, how did you feel about the session? Yeah, it was a great session overall. Everybody pitched in and whatever the small hiccups or these are part of the meet. I've been to so many meets and every now and then somebody does something which is not at place. So, and it varies from club to club. Some club won this, some club won that. So, it's not a great deal. And I really enjoyed the experience, whatever inspirational stories I listened Many of the uh, speak, uh, speakers introduced their perspective. For example, about Toastmaster culture and what uh, stage she is in and how she is having the enthusiasm 
and toastmaster amita about i i had observed the uh, what uh, the ted talk uh, that uh, sparsha had given but i had not focused that so she reiterated the thought and i have also not thought about i i could have said about something else but she sort of uh, nudged me to speak about my mother and so that's sort of thing that you the audience gives you a lot of uh, impetus to speak about what you uh may not be so that's my experience it was a great experience and yeah uh, evening well spent so thank you thank you thank you so much it is all because of our toastmaster of the evening she chose such a uh, such an inspiring team inspiration wonderful team so next i go on to toastmaster anisha she is not a uh, stranger to our club but she, since she is from another club I would yeah. like to ask her how her experience was. Thank you so much, Dost Master Jayati. I think in my scope of role as general evaluator, I have uh, overshot like most of the things I could have said in this section. I would only like to say it's it's so lovely to come back uh, to the Win Dost Masters Club. I can't make it. I could not make it for a few weeks, but then this week I'm so happy I took up a role. And it's always nice to take up a role uh, because you get to talk. and i love to talk so it it has been very very nice and especially there are so many people i'm seeing after so long to master nilu she has been a uh, like a flag bearer of newtown to master club now i'm seeing her here coordinating with her talking to her toastmaster jayati toastmaster shahida toastmaster amrita as well i think you delivered a speech once when i was general evaluator or any other role where if i'm not mistaken So, the first uh, uh, toastmaster of the day when I played the first time, you were the general evaluator, and yes, yes, yes. How I've been counting your three before. visits to toastmasters. <laughs> yeah, because I've heard you before, so I I knew that it has to be a speech or a toastmaster of the day session. So I think I enjoyed myself a lot. That's all I have to share. And about toastmasters, I think enjoying a session says it all. So I enjoyed my Sunday evening. and thank you once thank again with those masters club <laughs> over to you thank sir. you thank you toast master jati i want to add one thing toast master anisha made my evening today by saying i am seasoned speaker oh my god i'm very big speaker and she <laughs> said no, you seasoned. are a great you speaker are, you are master master master. Master. no doubt about it you are a great speaker you are an institution by itself and you are someone i look up to absolutely very, very warm hearted person very cooperative and always ready to help she is those master gidu sharma that and is and for so much yes i personally met her uh, offline and i can vouch for it that those master nil is one of the brightest persons you'll see in those master and she is always absolutely. there for everyone so Absolutely. That's the like, least I can so right. say, Master Nilu. That you are. I think I'm running out of adjectives. You know, adding next to her name. She's that good. Okay. Do we have Toastmaster Kanchan? Is she here? She's left. I guess. Okay. I think by this time, Toastmaster Amrita, you have the polls ready. Mm. Are the polls? I ready? do. Can okay. I launch them? Can we launch them? Yeah, yeah, I'll try. I, I'm doing it for the first time, so just in case there is something going here and there, please raise it no now. No problem. Can you see it on the screen? Yes, yes, we can see. All it. well? Yes, all good. have the polls been submitted i've got 4 out of 8 come on ladies just poll in i have 5 now uh do i get to poll no yeah yeah why not why not why not 
How do I do that? No Toastmaster Amrita, you can't. You can't. Yeah. You can't. Oh, host okay. and co-host cannot. Okay. Okay, we have nine people. I think there are just five. Uh, I've got six out of eight. And if I'm not voting, I think only one person is left. That's it. Toastmaster no, Nelly can't, can't mane as per rule or is it no, technology? No, no, it's uh, a disability on the cannot. system. Zoom technology. The host. Since she's the host, she cannot vote. Okay, can we have the polls, the results, please? Yeah. Uh, are you ready with the polls? I can see the results. Do I end the poll and then go back to the results or I read them first and then end it? First, end the result, um, polls and you can share. Okay. And Toastmaster Jayati will read out. Okay. Toastmaster Shahida, we have the winners over here. The table topic section, Toastmaster Shahida is a clear winner. Toastmaster Nilu is the most improved speaker. And Toastmaster Kanchan too. Kanchan too and Toastmaster Kanchan too. And the best role player we have Toastmaster Amrita. And thank you, thank you. The best role player in category two we have, oh my tie. God, there's a tie. There's a tie between me and Kalpita. Okay, so we have the results. Okay, now? All right, I'll start you. Yeah, yeah, can you please, yeah. Thank you so much for all of you for being here and making this a grand, grand. Thing. Sorry for interrupting. Please. Toastmaster yeah. Amrita, please take a screenshot and share in EC group so that they can make flyer. Otherwise, we will forget. Okay. So yes, Toastmaster JT, you can. For... Can I continue? Yes. Who is taking okay. picture? Who is taking picture? Yeah, come on, I'm posing. <laughs> Amrita ji. Do I stop saying cheese? Done, Amrita? You are speaking on new Toastmaster, Amrita. Please take a screenshot. For uh, I take one, if we close the poll, yeah, yeah, okay, once again. again, yeah, I have I have taken inspire um, again with your smiles, six. ladies. Yes, yes, yes. All right, thank you, thank you so much. And with that, yeah, I call the, the way Anisha, um, G Anisha is using it. W <laughs> win. <laughs> yes, it's not V, it's W. For women. Yeah, yeah. It is. It's been a wonderful evening. And with Toast this, Master and Amrita, are... please stop recording. Yeah. Give me one I'll minute. Take the lead, that's all right, everyone. With this, okay. I call the meeting to an end.